Hi guys, today all of you had your science CBSE board examination. Now in the previous video, we had analyzed this particular examination and now we are going to basically review some questions, some tricky questions that appeared in the set one of this particular examination. The first question that I'm picking up is question number nine. Now in this question, we have been given a calcium element with its atomic number 20. And the first part of the question, we have been asked whether this particular element calcium is a metal or a non-metal. So as we all know, basically calcium is a metal. Now in the second part of the question, it talks about a comparison between the atomic radius of calcium and potassium. Now the basic understanding of the question or basic way to approach this question is to have uh, an understanding about the positioning of calcium and potassium with respect to each other in the periodic table. And as we know that potassium comes before calcium in the periodic table and the atomic radius basically decreases as we go from left to right in the periodic table. Therefore the correct uh, the answer would be that calcium has a smaller atomic radius than potassium. The third part of the question basically talks about uh, is asking about the formula associated with the oxide of calcium which we know from the valency of calcium and oxygen is actually CaO, that is calcium oxide. The next question that I'm actually picking up is question number 11. Now in this question, it has, uh, the question basically asks as to how organisms uh, reproducing sexually or asexually are actually able to maintain their chromosome number. Now, the basic, uh, the principle behind this question is the understanding as to how meiotic and mitotic division takes place and in this you can give examples related to humans and amoeba and that would be able to provide a very good answer to this question. The next question that I'm picking up is question number 22. Now this question basically talks about the features and principles associated with spherical mirrors and the first two parts of this question they have asked about the features like uh, pole, center of curvature and we need to define them. And the second part of the question, we need to basically draw some basic some basic ray diagram associated with the concave and the convex mirror. The third part of this question is more an observation based question in which you need to basically analyze the figure and arrive at certain ideas as to what exactly, what type of the mirror is and certain features associated with the image itself. Now, when you look at the figure, you can arrive at the idea that the, yes, the image is basically erect and magnified. Now, as soon as you arrive at this idea that it's actually uh, magnified, you can negate the idea of a convex mirror because a convex mirror cannot exactly produce a magnified image. But so you have now identified that the image that you have is basically a concave mirror and you already know the properties associated with the image that it's erect and magnified. So you have given the answer already. Now let's look at question number 26. Now this question, it's a fairly big question, it's a lengthy question, but the basic idea associated with this question is to how soaps behave with respect to soft water and with respect to hard water. Now if you look at the question, we have been given four test tubes, P, Q, R, S, and certain salts have been added to each of these test tubes. Now in P and Q, you have potassium and sodium salts, whereas in R and S, you have magnesium and calcium salts. Now, if you know as to what are the constituents of hard water and soft water, you can very quickly understand that P and Q would be the one that would be containing soft water and therefore would be actually be providing you very good amount of lather with the soap. Therefore, the correct option would be option number A. Now let's look at question number 28. Now this question gives you a list of options A, B, C and D and it has grouped a certain number of seeds together and you need to identify as to which of the, these following options are basically a group of dicot seeds. Now, you might not be exactly be able to identify all of them, whether they are dicot or monocot, but at least you can very quickly identify that wheat and maize are basically monocot seeds. And on that basis, you can get rid of option number A, B and C. And therefore, the correct option would be option number D, that is red kidney bean, P and grams. Now, let's look at question number 29. This question again has given us a, a list of options A, B, C and D. A group of organs have been given and we need to identify as to which of these group of organs actually represent a set of homologous organs. Now homologous organs basically means having same structure but different function. So if you actually analyze these options, you can very quickly identify that only option number A, that is the four limbs of frog, bird and lizard basically comprise, uh, make up a group of organs that are having a same structure but different function. Therefore, the correct answer is option number A. Now, let's look at question number 30. Now, this question is basically uh, talking about, it has, is again a very lengthy question, a lot of a big, huge paragraph, and an experiment has actually been explained in this question. But the basic idea associated with this question is the principle associated with concave mirrors. That when an object moves farther away from a concave mirror, its image basically moves closer to the mirror. Now, 
What exactly the student is doing in this question? He's basically trying to focus the image of a distant building. Therefore, what is exactly happening? The object is basically moving away from the mirror. What is going to happen? The image is going to move closer to the mirror. What do you need to do? You need to move the screen closer to the mirror. Therefore, the correct answer would be option number C. That is, you move the screen towards the mirror. For detailed solutions and explanations to all the questions from different sets, please visit meritnation.com board paper solutions. The link has been provided below.